Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Phanalysis, Avatar The Last Airbender. I am Rotty Ford, this is Grey Jedi 91. Hello. And this is Antoine Bandelay. You are, my friends. Explain what we're up to today, Antoine. Uh, so, as an interim, or, uh, yeah, uh, intermission between uh, books, uh, we're going to be doing, or uh, the season books, uh, we're going to do the comics that came out Rel I think actually these came out mm, later. Well, 2010 than, I think, was it? I think I saw. A, a, no, a 2005 was a 2005 was the first one. So yeah, they were kind of coming. I mean, it depends on which one we're looking at, but they they came out after or during uh, the shows being on air. Um, and they take place, or they're called the Lost Adventures. That's the comic series we're looking at. But initially, they were just um, standalone uh, Nick magazine uh, like comic strips in like the magazines so, yeah like shorts in the middle of the magazine like sometimes you have that with you know if you look at star wars insider they'll have like short sure. stories in there yeah. or you mm -hmm. have like a, a marvel a magazine that has like a, a little short little snippet uh, so we have that for avatar and we're going to be discussing uh book one or all the things that related to book one uh which is uh be calm uh water something water war relic Something about Momo, don't blow it, and I'm probably forgetting the other titles. I'm pretty sure those. Um, are oh no, I think that's all the fruit stand, stand, fruit stand, oh, fruit Fury, stand. or yeah. fruit stand, Funhouse, something like that. Anyway, uh, it, that one was about Momo. Like, right? Yes, yeah, that's literally just uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we yeah. open up with Be Calm, I believe, is the first. Now this yes, one is like very, very short. Mm. Uh, like when we say short, like this one's pretty short. Um, it's two pages. It's literally two pages. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the basic premise is that Aang gets bees. Or, well, they're not bees, are they? They're the scorpion bees or something? Right, because uh, they have. Because right. either there's always like, yeah, I'm Avatar. We got those weird animals. And uh, they swarm him, and like he's calm about it, um, sort of, like to a point. Uh, and then like Momo gets scared <laughs> because he gets like covered <laughs> by like a bunch he's of like them. a bee monster. And yeah, then... and then I still yeah. Aang has to then intervene before he does get their reaction, and then he swim after him. It's basically all it is. But uh, it's but, you know, well, he runs to a Fire Nation soldier who then it becomes like the new object of the yeah. bees' fascination. <laughs> right. Like with and like that's the end, like on a joke ending. And the, all that I was thinking about by the end of this was, um, hey, the art's not bad, mm -hmm. and I was thinking. This would make a good lesson for Evan, who is like <laughs> not very yeah. cool. When it comes to bees. Oh, oh, oh! I, see. I, was, I thinking was thinking about from uh, the soccer's reaction in the second panel. I was like, well, yep, Evan, because <laughs> of the event when he was like, over here. Antoine was telling a story like one of our recent Harry Potters, where like how his dad's all zen and chill out. Like, right. Evan needs that lesson when it comes to bees. Just saying, <laughs> just saying. But, uh, but yeah, uh, it's, for it's... those who are not familiar, Evan's one of the other finalists. He's usually on the Star Wars and Harry Potter uh, mm. podcasts. Among right. others, yeah. Uh, he's just not interested in Avatar as much, or not as well um, versed with it at any rate. But uh, but yeah, no, I, I like you said, I love the art. The art is perfect for all of these. Um, it's the one kind of solid thing I think that I love about all of them. Because um, it's difficult to capture animated art uh, form in comic fashion. You know, you have to have bolder lines. You have to have... Uh... Um, single shot expressions it, it, it doesn't always translate and it did work very, very well here look i'm trying I, to find the credits uh, art by justin ridge art. okay i don't know the uh, name story joshua it. hamilton john o'brien art by justin ridge colors by hie jun kim um and lettering by clem robbins see the jun kim guy i think you i might him? have seen oh. i think i might have seen his name in the credits of the show so he might be like on oh. the show some but I when it comes doubt to that. When it comes to Justin Ridge, I don't know. I don't recognize the name, but he could very well have worked on it. But he looks like he, you know, he's got the style down. Like, mm -hmm. the, that is what the show looks like. Yeah, Even I the... think of all the Avatar comics, they usually do that pretty well. Especially yes, with the yeah. motion of it, too, because there's a lot of motion involved. And they do that very well with the art. Agreed. The art thing mm -hmm. has always been consistent with me. Obviously, it does go up and down a little bit in quality for each different story. Right. But, uh, but the, ones the that, baseline, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but the baseline is, is, is sound. You know, that's always the least yeah. offensive thing for me uh, for all of these. Um, but yeah, the motion on it, the 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 paneling the layout, it's, it's simple mm -hmm. but um, quirky in a way that fits the kind of mood of the of the scenes, which is quite cool. Um, it, it seems weird to talk about in such depth about something that's it literally is just a short two page vignette, <laughs> vignette. But you know, yeah, Avatar, well, it deserves it. What you're saying though applies to all of these. Though. Yes, like, of course. So yeah. Right, right, like, exactly. you know, Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. Um, well, and, and the writing too. I think that sometimes gets overlooked with the comics that they get the voices of each character right. Like even I think. It was, 
like even uh, she says uh katara says ang scorpion bees aren't exactly the friendliest insects like that's totally like i totally can hear yeah you can hear, hear, can hear that yeah yeah it, I, late, um, some of the later series uh, of comics that would come out with the more you know actual scaled up stories uh, they I lose me that. on the voices yeah. sometimes i mentioned that as well but yes, I, like the, i thought you were yeah. telling me i thought you were telling me that i was like a different creative team though before we started though kellen because like that seems like it's not the same like you said it were like a different league of comics pretty much like uh, um, well no I, that same... was just a different um so i don't think these are the same run are they the, these ones with the you know the bazooka uh, no these are story? separate from yeah. the uh the from the so they promise, probably yeah, are they, uh, they probably are then a different team responsible mm. for putting those books together because like those ones like when it comes to like the post romance stuff and the way that they refer to themselves <laughs> yeah sweetie like, it's like no yeah, like the yeah. no like, no yeah. that's not that's how like, you write that did you watch the show <laughs> like who wrote this like i mean but yeah i mean uh it's just very weird but here it very much is the character's voices from the show mm. right and we'll get into that because we'll do those two like after we're done with the uh, oh yeah we'll, like we'll, the, whenever the they come up with the story yeah, yeah. so it'll be it'll be post um i post uh, and it, it continue, before, 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 realize it, that it before does we get to continue. Cora, we'll talk mm. about yes. those yeah. yeah i agree i agree that we do it before Cora. Yeah. um because it also does continue like it literally like ang is literally growing up in those like every time you look at one of the new comics it's like a few months later so like, he's mm. getting like a little tall he has like a growth spree he's like i think taller than katara at this point I think uh, the North and South comic is the one that's out right now. So it's kind of cool. Like funny it's... Thing. It's, it's funny from like judging from that one bit of pr pr promotional art when Korra was like becoming a thing and uh, they showed like the adult gang the adult is like an Aang. Aang was like the tallest one. I think even I think including Zuko's them, top yeah. knot. Yeah, I think he was yeah, the tallest one. Yeah, yeah. So it is funny. Yeah, and I, not, same with Tenzin. Tenzin's a pretty tall dude too. He so is tall, cool. yeah. Yeah. So, it's cool. so our next so, one we have is Katara Water War, unless you had something else. Sorry, no, that, that was that was all yeah. I was gonna say. Just Water War, yeah. Carrying on with that next one. This one is 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 weak for me. Like it's it's a funny moment, um, and it's fine as a vignette. But this is where I was thinking, okay, so these are just literally short stories to pad in the center of a comic. These aren't going to be this, telling anything. Um, yeah, this at one, this point anyway. This one to me is like if you ever like I don't know the name of that website. I think it's Deviant Art where people make like. Hmm like right. their own short stories of stuff or like they some of them are very weird and like fetishized and whatever but oh, um, yeah be careful on deviant art be careful yeah, be careful on the internet is the story there pretty yeah. much yeah you get the best is, and the worst rule 30, of people rule 37 or what is that yeah. rule i think it's 37 um, 34 i think uh 34 whatever like you know y'all know the one yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, 34, yeah like, what does that mean wait what is it if, i don't know if it, if it exists, if it exists there's porn of it. there is porn of it and rule 35 is if there isn't there soon will be yeah yeah but yeah, no, this one to me feels like almost like it's a very in character fan creation, but it just seems like this may as well just be like somebody doing some Katara art and making like a mild story out of it. Yeah. There's nothing really to think about here, but it's fun and, yeah. and it looks good. Yeah, I think it's the packaging too. It's got to like, how you come into it. Because I think if you do come into it and you like buy the actual anthology as Lost Adventures, you're like, oh, cool, I'm going to get like, like a bunch of cool things. But if you're yeah. doing it, well, you're reading it out of the magazine. You're like, oh, cool! I get to see like a little bit. Of Avatar. It, yeah. it depends on how you are approaching it. You know what I mean? In terms of the enjoyment, because you are just looking at it in a con um, magazine where you're not really expecting it. And it's kind of like, oh, cool! We get to see a little bit of whatever. Um, versus it being like a you know an actual right. Fully yeah. Developed the, story the thing, the thing for me is yeah. that if you were given the opportunity to write anything, you know, of any scale for Avatar, why would this be the story you want to tell? Is, is the thing that well, raises it for me. Think, That's yeah. You know, it's fine for what it yeah. is, but if you had only this to do, I was like, mm, I'd I'd want more. Yeah, this if this is coming out in a magazine while the show is being released, there's probably only so much leeway you have to like. And go, deadline okay, we'll, too. True, true. It's a magazine. Like we need to fill this many pages in this issue and do something mild with these characters that people find entertaining. But then, as you so, see like, with the later I, with the later I, version with the relics one, which we will speak about in a minute, like there's there's a yeah, distinct difference not, between that and the others. But the, the number one with that one is is quite long, like mm. in comparison to these. Right. But, um, it could be its own comic on, with how long yeah. it is. Um, and in relationship to just this one thing, like the the only thought that I had, I thought, oh, that's really cool. I like the one panel where the kids are staring at the reflections in the water yeah. coming at them. I <laughs> really well done. Yeah, very cool. Piece of art. Yeah, the artwork again is, is, but, is fine. It's, it's it's well um shot, for lack of a better term, uh, well panelled. You know, everything is really nicely done on that level. It's just a story for me. I, I would have told a different story. Um, also one note of criticism for the ending on that one. Um, only a moron challenges a waterbender to a water war. I think that's slightly out of the voice. Um, the, the shot oh, yeah, there is yeah, funny. Yeah, it's a great funny moment for that. But Katara, you lose Katara's voice in that moment, and also the fact that they yeah, didn't sure. know they weren't. Jazzy. Yeah, it's it's they wrote that for the sake of the joking yeah. panel. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which it looks like uh, I think she's about to lose that one actually. Yeah. There's nothing <laughs> stopping him right there. That is actually something I think 
Toph would say, actually. Like, that's yeah. not her, Precisely. Her, even the, the, even the stance. The stance even on the face. face. Is kind yeah. Of yeah. Tough. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's totally yeah. Toph. Yeah. 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 That, is, that panel is totally Toph. Yeah. yeah. Totally true. The whole thing would suit a Toph story better than Katara, really, if you think about it. Um, right. Especially, like, attacking some kids or whatever. Mm. Just messing with it. Just change the water for yeah, mud and it's true. Toph. Yeah. But, yeah, all fine. You know, short vignette. It doesn't have to be anything uh, special. Uh, but the next one is Don't Blow It. Which uh, is very strange. Like again, why why would you tell this story? But you know, if you want to, it's 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 served its purpose, I suppose. Again, I think that there's only so much they're allowed to do with these characters if it's being released concurrent to the show. Mm. But um, oh. this to me, I, though, I, I I, I thought it seems like it could actually be like it is this is not an episode but this could be like the start of an episode like yes, yes I was yeah, gonna say too. it could be the intro to the episode for sure yeah because i buy this like the idea that ang has a cold basically and you know he's an airbender so his his sneezes as we saw mm. like in the first episode where he sneezed and launched himself into the air <laughs> they can go like sort of awry very quickly so like to the point that they tie him to oppa with a rope so that when he <laughs> yeah, launches himself cool. The line that work was, on the... Like, that was amusing. I can see that happening. It's not a plot. It is not a full plot oh, yeah, for a for show sure. at all. But it, it is like the opening segment of one to me. Even to the point where right. they're jumping on upper and flying off. You know, it's like I said, it's very much the first... The the uh, scene that they're doing before they reach whatever the plot is for that episode. I completely agree. The line work on the uh, on the airbending or the air sneezing um, is, is, is as well particularly um, well done. I, I appreciate the line work on that. It's, it's artful. My favorite um, part is each and every one of his expressions. Like each one. Like <laughs> yes. the first time when he's coming down, he has this like droopy eye thing going yeah. on. And then he's got like the... The old man sneezed red nose, and then I think even later on, yeah, when he's flying off of Appa, you're saying with the the lines within the air, like he's they're so good with the his funny, expressions. It's funny that you bring that up though, because if you look at the one where it's like uh, it's on page seventeen and it's 17. like outlined in black, um, like his nose is sort of red. That's and a tendon like, look for me. He, I was gonna <laughs> say it looks like I was gonna say it looks like Milo. Oh, Milo, <laughs> oh, that's true as well. God, yeah. yes, <laughs> that's what I see. There. Yeah, it's totally true. That that's is what's funny true. about that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, but but it's, like, it, it works very well with Ang in general, you know, because he is all. They all have great expressions. You know, Sokka is another example. But for Ang, right. the big cartoonish, over the top um, moments, it, they work so well with him. Um, even if it's just the character model, it just it it, it fits for that, uh, which is fun to work with. Well, like we were saying before with the like how this could be episode like there's one point where he sneezes so far that the fire nation sees him and they're like that could have been the intro of like yeah, yeah. Z- zuko is like looking over him <laughs> oh right. and also he has to he has to deal with them while being sick that is an episode mm. like this right. could be an episode and it, it, this is like not like fully fleshed out of course there's only like one more page after that point but still um yeah it's uh it's, it's setting so up for what could have been a full it story could have easily been uh, extrapolated. We skipped past it, but like... I also like the little moment of the fact that the uh, soccer was the one who tied him onto Rapper. I love that. It's, it's, it's a small little. Yeah. He looks so proud of himself. Oh, yeah, it was his idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when Katara says that was a good uh, idea, and he's like, "Thanks." Yeah, he's she, just you know she taking give him a compliment. She like never does that. Yeah, it was <laughs> funny. Uh, okay, it's so that was good. Like, yeah, that was a pretty it's good within one. And the character of Sokka, like they're like he will be the one to think that. Oh yeah, we should probably like you know tie him down. So that's within his character. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, just you know, yeah. Within, within the context of these being you know meaningless fun shorts, they are very good for me. I do enjoy them. I just you know, it's, it's the case of uh, I would have told different stories given the option. Yeah, that was my, only my attitude of these. is changing on it. Like the more I look at these, because when I first thought those are pretty meh, aren't they? But I was actually conflating them with the full blown like post series adventures, which I have issues with. Or like, or, like full like art stories. These are just like little fun shorts. Yeah, very and, different um, to me. Are, yeah, they are fun. Um, and at the end, we're like they've just completely like tied him down like a tent you know yeah. like strapped him to a boulder so he can't go to... <laughs> and he's stuck with like the nasty home remedy like that everybody's on his mustache you know? what was it called it's called something in america we have it it's called um the cream that we put on uh, like the vapor Vicks. rub i actually yeah. i actually liked it i actually liked it i loved my mom putting it on me because it just felt so nice especially with your breathing is cleansed when you have that stuff on you it's like everyone's mom or grandma would just slather that on you like yeah can it didn't matter what you had. Never had that experience. Had. Oh man, <laughs> don't think my brother hated it, right but here. I loved it. Um, but I love the panel with him, with his little mustache, because like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. sometimes put it on your nose too. It's pretty. He cool. looks like such a sad old man there. Though. Yeah, <laughs> he does. It's like when they were going to Omashi the first time, and he like had a um, yes. go incognito as an old man. You know? Oh, Pippon Papalopoulos. Yeah. Yeah, Mo- Momo's used very yeah. well here as well. Um, obviously, because you don't have to animate him, he can be more present without causing issues um, to the art. So he's he's in almost every panel. He's doing something in the background. Oh yeah, he is interacting with that. It looks like, like. Last, he's just like trolling him though. Yeah. Like, <laughs> 
or the smell of it, as you know, he's blocking his nose or whatever. But yeah, just uh, yeah, the little captured moments they work really well. And again, the paneling, I I cannot stress enough how much I like the simple but varied panel angles um, that they go with. Yeah, because they don't need to do that. That's just a kind of um, bit of a, you know artful expression for the sake of it. Uh, it works mm-hmm. well, very well. Um, Within the frames of the panels as well, the, the the what's being shown, the artwork of Appa, for example, when he's spinning through the air with a whoosh away from the fire, firebenders, um, the the panels are giving him more room for that in line with the motion. It's very well done. Yeah, I'll tell you what then. This but then we get the next one, which is the oops, sorry. Oh no, no, I was just gonna say I, I can actually hold that thought until the very end of this. So let's go ahead oh, with the cool, uh, relics. Oh, uh, yeah, relics is the one I had most interested in because this one for me, this could have been very easily an episode by itself. It just needed to be I completely... expanded on completely agree and well i mean it, it just needed to be like yeah like yeah, lengthened just, just like fleshed just out, yeah, the in-between moments basically. you could see Animated. the areas <laughs> you could see the areas where that would be but yeah this actually i think should have been i would rather watch much rather watch an episode about this than like great divide or mm. maybe even to an extent um northern, northern air, air temple, temple. yeah yeah, yeah. Not, not that Northern Air Temple is a bad episode, but this actually, as we'll get into, like I think it actually shows Zhao in some of his best light as an mm. antagonist for the series, which he didn't mm. have that many um, options to. He didn't have that many occasions to meet Aang. I think this is a good one. Yeah, the 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 the, the emotional beats with that within it, you know, the longing of Aang, um, and and we do yeah, we get the same sort of the same sort of beats as we do in that episode with the Northern Air Temple, but it, it's it's including the villain that we actually have attached to for the series with with Zhao. Right. Um, or is there some random firing? Yeah, it's, it's got um, the separation from the, the, the rest of the gang, so he's isolated, he's facing the person by himself. You know, there's a lot of work here. The artwork, the, the creative designs of like the, the bell um, or shrine location, um, just everything here is uh, is well put together. You know, you, uh, and again, stupa, you can see as it. it's called. Yeah, that's actually a Buddhist uh, shrine. It actually is a real Buddhist shrine. Yeah, actually, there's a few uh, Buddhist instruments they talk about. I think it was the stupa and the other one that was the... He's like, me and my friends used to like bounce this around and this is how we made a what was it called uh oh my god i forgot what it was called the little green thing that he tosses oh the dorje the dorje oh and my the fact god they reference it as well no, the fact that they reference it as well um in the, in the text you know, they call it a stupa um which is you know it's nice to know they're acknowledging these things uh the but yeah just the angles of when he's looking down at the cave the action of him moving around there's a lot more going on in this one this is this is a realized story that's being told rather than just you know a single scene in short form um, it's significantly longer than the other ones yes, that we've that talked well. about at this point. Yeah, I don't know exactly how many pages, but it's definitely like a full blown story this time. And also, you see a little bit of growth from Zhao too, because the last time we would have seen him in the show was when he like burned his entire fleet uh, when he was attacking Aang, and now we see him, you know, having a pretty smart plan for how mm. to capture yeah, you know, this, a little boy. Would have been some nice development for like him. They, it it almost felt like they had like this like either or plot like it can be either this or the northern air temple like or but not both in the right. show yeah because it is kind of almost the same setup and they just like picked up like an abandoned plot line and turned it into a comic but i think i would have preferred this to I, be the i wouldn't be surprised if it got to this point where it was it was realized as a kind of plot outline and they thought mm, it's too like the blue spirit we can't do this so they split this and the and the illness from earlier in the other comic and and you know put it into different mini stories um here um because this is you know he does get captured he does get separated from the group he does uh face the the threat by himself obviously there's no zuko present but there's a lot of similarities that would have had overlap if they'd done it this way um it's 10 pages though. 10 possible. pages to the other pages yeah. four um or at least one of the previous stories is four so it's it's got it's got six pages more to work with which it uses well um you know the, the pacing of this is done um but as yeah, it should be. in the sh- in the show that isn't ever really done though, like that that preying on the an- the avatar will want to find somebody who belongs to his culture. Right. Like mm. let's use that as a as bait, and that never comes up. Um, and and the here thing, it is. Well, yeah, and the thing that came up too is that we were talking about when we were doing our commentary or the reviews of the show is that hey, what happened? Like they couldn't have killed all the yeah, characters. That's you know what that I mean? Question. Like that doesn't make sense. There had to be others. So like they're like, oh no, it's kind of similar to what the uh, the Jedi had set up, where they had the the ping for everybody to come back to the Jedi Temple. It was that the similar beacon. thing. Yeah. The beacon. Yeah. Sorry, the beacon. And then um, they had that here, where it's like the few uh, Airbenders that uh, escaped his first assault were too hard to hunt down. Instead, he laid traps for them. You know, it's, it's right. smart, and it's Sozin's plan as well. So it gets it feeds on the idea of him being constantly, you know, obsessed with getting rid of this culture. Um, it also makes sense for like Zhao to like know this if he mm. paid attention to military history, like which he mm-hmm. is good on, like because he doesn't over he doesn't underestimate the Northern Water Tribe in as much as Zhao can avoid doing so. <laughs> um, he does, you know, he doesn't. 
Uh, like he has respect, you know, for Iro, at least to a degree. Um, and we you know, know of he's course, a scholar he'll be very he found the library and yeah. worked with that. Right. Yeah. So, so like this fits in character with him. Yeah. So, um, so and it also. Oops, sorry. It's uh, also in character for him to like waffle on about like how great his plan was after yeah. right. Russia. Exactly. Russia. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. But I would I would tweak and slightly refine some of the dialogue because some of it is a of little bit. Um, yeah. I, well, they it's, they it's had a limited rushed, amount of time. Though. Yeah, they had a bit of limited yeah, amount of time. Rushed. But uh, but yeah, apart from that, this is a solid story. And uh, the thing for me, um, post the actual fight, obviously we get the incorporation of the different um, instruments uh, that the Airbender cultures were, you know, attached to in this air in this room. Um, but also, I like the ending. the The ending is a really solid emotional. Oh yeah. Moment. Well, before we even get to the ending, I was still keeping with the Zhao. I like the back and forth they had about knowledge, um, about the two things, like Zhao using the knowledge from Sozin to do the trapping, but then Aang talking about, well, I have more knowledge about what all yes. these instruments do, and I'll be using those against you right now. Thank you very much. You know, like I thought that was a pretty Which, good um, back and forth. Yeah. I still think that there was like a lot of people that were hoping one of those um, air swords that he. Like described in one of the episodes was like was actually going to be used at one point and it never happened. So like this isn't an, an instance of you getting him getting to see him use airbending relics in in right. uh, in combat. Yeah, even if they're not meant for combat as well as he's being creative, he's being fun. You know, this is the kind of blending of his um, mischievous side with oh. his uh, his actual action oriented bending side. And a beautiful panel on twenty six. It's him doing a like a butterfly flip. Um, above and again, mm. Zhao attacking him and basically making a better situation for Aang because uh, he uh, took apart the rope that was binding his uh, his um, his feet. So that was a really good uh, panel. Uh, also, the following one with the instrument and it blowing back and everybody like you know putting their hands up. I think it's really well drawn. They're really good with good with capturing the motion on on these pages. Yes, like, the, motion the, the, is not totally captured. Not just the uh, the actual kind of um, uh, char character models motion, you know, because that's relatively relatively easy to snapshot in comics. It's the it's the dynamic dynamic line line work around involving the bending, you know, with the the swirl around his body there is positioned correctly. If you want to factor in the position position of his leg, the uh, the blast of the air um, with the you know, kind of line work in the background works well to kind of distort the background image, so it's fading out in the right place. Everything blends together the way it should do, um, which is you know they didn't have to do for something as you know a small short like this. They didn't have to bring that level of that level of quality. Well, I think they they themselves knew they had a pretty good like I'm sure this was like developing, and they're like, oh yeah, let's give you like four more pages, and they expand mm. it, and there's more time with the shading. There's a lot more shading in this one than it was in the previous one. The previous ones are more like the show where it's kind of flat. Um, and they have not even just shading, but like dynamic shading too. And you can tell that they put more effort um, into this one for sure. Yeah, page twenty-seven with a spinning, uh, spinning um, whatever it is. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, it is very cool. Lots going on. Lots of lines where they wouldn't. The Dorje. Dorje. Thank you yeah. very much. Oh yeah, it's right there on the page. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the bottom. Um, but yeah, just just the the motion of the of the swirl and like... all of the things on the page itself. Yeah. But also the revelation that that's not what it's for. It's mm. just what Aang and his friends found they could do with right. screwing around with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, which is like perfect. That that is exactly Aang. Like he doesn't. He's not even like he's not really a fighter. But he, he's a no. great in combat. But he's not like a fighter. You know what I mean? That's not his goal in life. Yeah, he's like Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone. He just like you know <laughs> he knows how to make things like work for himself. You know? What's funny to me is like that's not the kid's name. That's the actor's name. Yeah, <laughs> but it's oh, like the idea that. They, his name is Kevin McAllister. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I never called him. Kevin. <laughs> like like, like <laughs> Macaulay Culkin, like Macaulay Culkin is like this great genius. He's like there's some washed up two bit <laughs> actor. He's like no, like Kevin McAllister. <laughs> anyway, That's true. Um, but yeah, that but, leads uh, us off into that with the, yeah, with the ending, ending, which to me is the most powerful part of the comic. Um, the fact that this right, this could have yeah, been pulled straight true. from an episode. You could have the fading off of the dun 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 dun, dun music into the background. It, it, it just the, the moment of a. Uh, of uh, the fact that they they're not aware right the, fa the fact Callum that legit gave me chills. I don't know if you guys have seen him. like I got goosebumps right here um <laughs> the fact that uh that they're not aware of this you know Ang is saying a few of them probably were and and he, you know they're not quite aware of what he's been through right now the, the just story right. that was given obviously he's explained the rough um aspects of it's it it's but... very similar to um the blue spirit ending where he we talk about like making him saying something about making friends or something like that and he's like I thought I made a, fr a new friend yes. what was the line yes. I can't remember yeah um, I, I thought I made a friend but Something that was internally for him, so like, like we said, understood what he did. Mm. Did you make any new so friends? Said, did you make any new friends? He goes, I right. don't think I did. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that. Right, yeah. And, he, and it's a very quiet, kind of rasping here. voice and breath as he leans over, and it's just, it's it's a powerful moment. And it's that kind of feel recaptured here. Um, it's a. Uh, it's a somber moment, and it didn't need, you know, for a comic like this, it doesn't doesn't need to go this deep, and it did. And as a result, I could easily see it as being a full on episode. I want it to be a full on episode. With a bit of tweaking. And that and that final panel though, that final panel. I know. Good good use of the, the, the long long shot. Yes, that's how you do it. That's how you 
you know group them together while also keeping them isolated. Who wrote this particular one? Who's credited oh, to this see. one? Is it the same group for all of these? Or I think it's the same. No, it's different every time. Is it different? No, it's different every time. No, I mean, they're I'm not seeing different credits for each of them. No, it is different. Yeah, yeah even the art's uh, different. Oh yes, yeah, different. yeah, it is. It's a story by Joanne, Joanne Matt or, yeah. and Joshua Hamilton. I think Joshua Hamilton did something before this, though. Right? Art by oh, Johan Matt again. So the, art, the writer and the artist are the same. And colors were also the same. The June King. Well, the the art is different. It's not just in Rage this time, but the colors is the same guy. It's um, June King. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. But the story writer. Which I'm, I'm is almost the positive that I'm almost positive that I've seen his name in the show. It just gets it, that explains why it looks so much like the color palette is so similar because mm -hmm. it looks right. like the show basically. It's really good with the expressions. Like, for example, Sokka standing there is, is stood sideways, and the expression of his, you know, his frown um, as he's looking down at Aang, it's uh, it's just as well, bow. yeah, it's yeah. just as well captured as if he was, you know, facing forward, which is, isn't always easy to do. That's I like the detail there. It's great with perspective as well. Like that one panel where Aang is in the net and he's like looking up at Zhao. Like that's some really good art, actually. Oh yeah, yeah, it's really yeah, tough the to intent, do. You would the think, oh yeah, focus. just draw it, but no, it's really hard to do perspective like that. Yeah, uh, especially, especially when you've got the camera. Yeah, you've, yeah, especially when you've got to try and capture the camera angle effect as well. Like the fact that you've got the layering of Ang needs to feel like he's right there with with uh, Zhao in the background, while also capturing the focus of his attention and his his, his uh, visuals. And with the, not to say nothing of the rope kind of piling on top of him in the yeah. different ways it is. Yeah, yeah. there's so much so detail. Many people, be hard enough. <laughs> so how many people? So there was a, what three or four people worked on this then total. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. The next one that we have to talk about, the last one, is all one guy. So it's the blame is that all on him. <laughs> that makes sense. You know, that makes complete sense. Yeah, yeah. Brian Ralph. It, um, it's a story. Art. Yeah, I mean, is there a story though? I guess so. Like a picture tells a thousand words. But it this is it, so this is fruit stand freestyle, uh, right, Momo in fruit stand freestyle. Um, it's not that at we all know. bad. It's just that it's just no. kind of. It, it's whatever. coming after Relics, which doesn't help it. <laughs> we, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> but, uh, the thing. We know yeah. that we know that a story about Momo can be good. We've seen we've seen that in the show. Uh, but you know, this is it's only two pages long, and it's just one big visual gag. Mm. Which is all it's supposed to be. So you know, to, to yeah, its credit, it it's does fine. that well. It's just you know, there's, that's there's, it's uh, it's not. Really I've never struggled special. so hard to find something to say about something um, <laughs> on one of these as I am right now. Like I literally don't have any thoughts on this. The art style, for all it is, it works well. It's this this kind of art style isn't you know to my preference. But if you do like it, I think you could say this is this is a high quality example of it, which is something you can say in its favor. Um, and the motion again is is handled pre pretty well. But just beyond I mean, you know like, after the relic, there's yeah. not much to talk about it with. I do like monochromatic art schemes, so there's that, but that's about it. Hmm. I mean, so is Momo's tell just not like it doesn't hurt to have it bitten because he. At um, first, presumably. to be honest, I thought he, I thought he I thought he hung the hog thing at first, and I was like, oh, wait. Is the hog hung at the end? I was like, oh no no, he's bi he's biting. So I had to like go back and be like, oh, no, he's yeah. Biting to be fair, it does like, look like he's being hanged. <laughs> right, and I was like, what, Momo? Look, looking at Momo's fixed stare, that gets very dark. <laughs> Yeah. Momo's fine as long as he gets to eat, which, yeah. as you see in the final panel, he's fine. Mm. Right. Either that, or wrapping his tail around that many times, cut off circulation to that point where he can't <laughs> feel what's going on. Mm. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. that, that, those are those comics. Um, any closing yeah, thoughts you want to talk one, about, guys? The Walker ones. Yeah. Um, so what I, what I was gonna say earlier that I said I'll just say at the very end of this is. Um, at first, I was like, really? Like, do we have to look at these? But these were actually pretty fun. And particularly with Relics, it was nice to see, like, an adventure with these characters that I've known for so long into, like, a, an adventure that I hadn't actually read before. And I feel like I was stepping back into the show with, like, a new adventure. So that was fun. Yeah, very cool for that. Yeah, That's why yeah, I love yeah, doing this in general, just being able to see new things, having an excuse to look at the new things, because I had never touched this before. You know, Antoine was excited about it and said, let's cover it, let's cover it. But um, apart from the well, later I, comics, I was I've doing not that mostly these. on the back of book three, uh, the fire comics. I think those are really, really cool, some of those. Um, but but yeah, I, I, I like this one too. I think, again, it is a case of packaging. Like, you definitely are going to uh, look at it differently as an anthology, as you would as a kid who had Nickelodeon subscription. Do you guys ever have subscriptions like that? I had a Lego subscription. Uh, I had a Lego subscription. I went to Lego Land and I came back and I had that for the rest of my life. I uh, don't even think I ordered it, but uh, so that would probably be a parent sneaking <laughs> well, on board. I, I love uh, those. God bless I Bionicle. Looked forward, I looked forward to uh, those book orders they would pass out in school. And I would get oh, like... Yeah, uh, I, remember those. I never got Harry Potter from that because my parents would just buy me the, the hardcovers and stores. But I would get like um, Jedi Apprentice. I would get the Calvin and Hobbes. Oh, like, Jedi Apprentice. I would get, book fairs uh, were, were the best for that. Um, yeah, 
uh, there were um, and like for a little while, I used to read Animorphs, but I kind of fell off. That. Oh yeah, uh, me too. And I also fell off as well. I had the yeah. same exact uh, thing. There's so same many with me. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, TV show as like, well. So. I, that's the closest I got to any kind of subscription-based thing, though. Like, which doesn't yeah. really count. So yeah. I can see this working really well in in that context. Like every month, you know, you're like, I oh, I get a little little tidbit. Yeah, I do want to say, like, when Antoine told me where these came from, Nick Ma- Nick Magazine, I was like, oh, that's right, because I do remember, like, every, like, commercial break almost, they would, like, like try to get you to buy this thing. And it was like, hey, Lord, Nick Magazine with, like, the, <laughs> you know, like, stupid, stupid, like, slime <laughs> noises and stuff. I go, oh, that's, I'd have to go watch one of those commercials for the Nostalgia Blast. <laughs> hey, they were ahead of their times. They understood that subscriptions were a very good way of getting consistent money out of people. Mm-hmm. And now, like, that's all especially anybody wants to children. do now with music and, and, yeah, especially for children. Um, and that's all people want to do now. Like, if, if it's music or TV or movies or whatever, like, subscription services are, like, the thing. That, even for reading, uh, for books, they have, like, Kindle Unlimited now, so... Be interesting to see if that has a time span on it because, funny enough, the one that was doing that the most for the longest time was uh, games with MMOs, and they're now stepping away from that format. So it'll be interesting to see if it hangs, hangs oh, true for the rest of the industry. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, but yeah, that, that, those are our thoughts on uh, on the Lost Adventure comics then for book one at least. Um, Water yeah, so we're com- yeah. now we're completely done with book one material. Yes. Like, that's everything that's ever been done for book one. <laughs> yeah, so we'll be moving on to book two, Earth, next, finally, for some of the best episodes of the entire show, um, certainly as far as I'm concerned. Crossroads of Destiny. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, uh, uh, again, my favorite moments are in book three, but <laughs> season two is the best season for me overall. I can't Agreed. wait to get into that. Agreed, by and large, yeah. Uh, looking forward to it. But, uh, see you guys then. See you then. Yeah. These have been our thoughts on The Lost Adventures. I'm ready for, and I still don't have an outro. Mm hmm. And I'm graduated in 91, and I'm, I'm too good for one. <laughs> my name is Antoine Vandalay. Peace, love, and remember be water, my friends. Goodbye.